Let's recap today the amazing UFC 300 night. Kayla Harrison won her first night in the UFC against Holly Holm. She managed to beat Holly Holm in the second round by making her submit. This happened at UFC 300, let's go! Who has won two Olympic gold medals made her debut in the UFC by defeating Holly Holm with a submission in the second round. In the first round Harrison controlled most of the action, she started with a great throw, but Holm managed to reverse it and get on top. However, Harrison quickly powered her way back to standing. Take a second to subscribe and like the video to not miss any content. Let's go on. After that, Harrison dominates the fight. The dominance continued in the second round as Harrison went right back. Her submission attempt could be considered mercy as she took Holmes back and locked in a rear naked choke that drew a nearly immediate tap. Consider this win as a warning for the rest of the division. Raquel Pennington might not be holding onto the belt for long. Next, at the start of UFC 300, Davison Figueiredo fought against Cody Gabriel. In the second round, Davison won the match by defeating Gabriel. UFC 300 has started with a lot of excitement. The big event began with a match between Davison and Cody, both former champions. People thought the match might finish quickly. Figueiredo was ranked number 8 in his division, having won against Rob Font last time. Cody wasn't ranked for this fight, but he had won his last two fights against Brian and Trevon Jones. In the first part of the fight, Figueiredo didn't do much, in the second part he quickly used his grappling skills. He brought Gabriel down and tried to catch him in an arm triangle choke. Even though it almost ended the fight, Cody managed to get out and tried to stand up, but Davidson quickly got behind him. Then right in front of the people broadcasting the fight, Davidson slipped his arm under Gabriel's chin and put him in a rear naked choke. Gabriel tapped out and Figueiredo won the fight in the second round by submission. After winning, Davison now has a record of 23 wins, 3 losses and 1 draw. He wants his next fight to be for the title against UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley. On the other hand, Gabriel's record is now 40 wins and 6 losses. This is the 5th loss by knockout or submission since 2017. Algermain Sterling defeated Calvin via unanimous decision. Aljamain Sterling had his first fight in the featherweight category at UFC 300. Although he didn't win in a spectacular way, he still got the victory, and that matters. He used his skills to take Calvin down multiple times and controlled the fight in each round. The judges all agreed, giving him a score of 30-27. to This one put Sterling back on track after some setbacks and he's now looking ahead to his future in the 145 pound division. Bo Nickel didn't have a short fight this time, but he still won smoothly. In the UFC 300 main card in Las Vegas, he fought Cody Brundage in a middleweight fight. It took Nickel two rounds and he managed to submit Brundage at 3 minutes and 38 seconds into the fight. This was the first time in his career that Nickel went into a second round. He started by kicking Brundage hard in the body, then tried but failed to take him down. However, they managed to take him down successfully in a second attempt and got into a full mount position. After that he moved Brundage back and made him submit with a rear neck choke. Now we see how Armin Saruki moved closer to a title shot by winning a tough fight against Charles Oliveira at UFC 300. The match went back and forth, but Saruki on wrestling and ground attacks helped him win. Two judges thought Saruki won by 29 to 28, while the third judge scored it the same way for Oliveira. Despite that, Saruki won's streak in the lightweight division extended to four matches. What are your thoughts on this match? Please write it down. Thank you so much Oliveira, he's one of the human guys, a good guy in a division Sarukin said afterwards. I thought all judges were going to give me the win, but it is what it is. I need to come back much stronger and better. Let's come to the highlight of the night. Max Holloway faceplants Justin Gaethje with, with an all-time great KO in the final second of UFC 300 fight. Holloway had already been doing well in the fight, hitting Gaethje with a lot of powerful punches for 5 rounds, but he didn't just want to impress the crowd. As the fight was almost over, he stood in the middle of the cage and signaled for Gaethje to fight him head on. They started trading punches and then Holloway threw a right punch that knocked Gaethje down hard on the floor, facing downwards. It was an amazing finish happening just before the end of the fight at 4.59 in the 5th round. Give it up to Gaethje. A real BMF, Holloway said, paying homage to his opponent. Raise the roof for him. I'm him. I'm him, guys. In his long career, Holloway had many amazing moments, but his recent victory over Gaethje might just be the best one. This time, fighting in the lightweight division, he had more strength and size on his side. 
Holloway showed off his power with a strong left punch that landed on Gaethje's chin multiple times at the start of the match. One punch in particular really made Gaethje notice, but Gaethje wasn't just backing off. He countered with a series of painful cough kicks that left bruises on Holloway's leg. What are your thoughts on this amazing finish? Social media reacts to Zhang Wei Li's title defense over Yan at UFC 300. Zhang Wei Li kept her strong hold on the strawweight division as set there by winning against Yan in the UFC 300 co main event. Wei Li defended her title for the second time, making it her second time winning in the 115 pound category. She defeated Yan by a unanimous decision in the fight held at the T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. A big moment for the UFC win was Pereira win against Hill. He keeps his UFC Light Heavyweight Championship title. In an exciting fight, Alex Pereira from Brazil won by knocking out Jermail Hill in the first round. At first, Pereira brushed off a hit that seemed to be too low from Hill. Then he threw a strong left punch that made Hill fall backward onto the mat. Quickly after, Pereira jumped on him and kept hitting until the fight was stopped at 3 minutes and 40 seconds into the first round. I told everyone the whole time, he's a strong guy. I cannot go away from my strategy and that's exactly what I was doing. I was going distance and the timing everything went perfectly, Pereira said in a post fight interview in the cage. In January 2023, he became the champion, but later in July he got hurt while playing basketball, so he had to give up his title. Then Pereira, who used to be UFC middleweight champion and is well known in kickboxing, took the belt in November. He won it by knocking out Jerry Prochaska in the second round after the fight. Pereira said he wants to keep fighting. He mentioned he liked to be in the next UFC event happening in Brazil in May. He also mentioned he didn't get hurt in the fight with Hill, which is great news. That is all what we want. Good fights and no injuries. In this upcoming news we talked already in the last video about, as the samurai topic was quite a big one. Jerry Prochaska showed off his inner samurai spirit, Alexander Rakic. He fought with fierce determination. This brought him the ultimate defeat against Rakic. It seems like Jerry Prochaska has some serious samurai skills. In the UFC 300 preliminary fight, Prochaska ended up beating Alexander Rakic with a lot of powerful hits at 317 of round 2. Rakic started strong with leg kicks, while Prochaska kept changing his stance. Round 1 was a good display of technique from both, but round 2 got more intense. Prochaska got more energetic and powerful, leading to his victory. Rakic got hit hard, making him lose his balance and fall to the ground. Prochaska quickly jumped on top of him, while Rakic turned onto his back. Prochaska kept hitting him until the referee Herb Dean decided it was too much and stopped the fight. This one is a comeback for Prochaska, who hadn't won since beating Glover Teixeira for the title in June 2022. What are your thoughts on the UFC 300 event? Did you watch it? Please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos. We are interested in your opinion, so take a second to write it down. See you in the next video. Take care.